off cabin, what do you reckon, Shelby? Crazy. This is our <laughs> six <laughs> hours. <laughs> through the small village. What's this village called? Laucha. Laucha. Walking Laucha. through Laucha. See our guys pouted for today. Taking us around the small villages. Very foggy today. There's some of the rice paddies. Yes, we ride. So it's not the season for it, so that's why it's uh it's a bit muddy. Uh, Pat said it's April. April is when the, the rice the rice comes back or they, where they start planting. So right now the roosters own it. <laughs> the roosters and the chicken taking over it. Oh good. Hey I think that's the first bike I've seen in Vietnam. I've only seen scooters. Yeah. <laughs> so always gotta watch my six. I never know when there's a scooter coming past. Again today, can't really see. I did check on my Garmin watch, it did say air quality here is uh, 108, I think it said. Still learning about the air quality um, chart, but apparently it's not uh, not good for sensitive people with breathing difficulties and stuff. So it is a bit, I'm, I'm fine, but I know the others are a bit struggling a little bit with the air quality. And, um, I'm gonna go up into heat now. Farm villages. Here there's um way for the, the gang to move a bit forward. There's a bit of cows and stuff and there's chickens and here we go. Ooh, cut. A little snout, hey? <laughs> Gonna dirty my lens. Dirty my lens. <laughs> oh, the color on them horns. Don't know if they get let out. Oh, I think they use them for the ice patties and. Whatever else, our last tour guys said if the animal moves its food, but hopefully they used for something else as a pet. I want to hope that calf was cute. <laughs> um, yeah, that's the farm there. That's that's their living conditions. That's that's their. I think he said that's one of the rooms in there. And then um, part of the family lives at different sections of the the farm. And we got some water buffaloes in here. It's from the other day. There you go, and Boris. Can't do a country accent. Oh, horns on this thing, huh? There you go, buddy. Yep. It's one of those days, eh? It's one of those days. Keep gotta catch up with the gang. They keep running fast. <laughs> Up there, it's another Hello. building. Hello. <laughs> I'm in here. So, oh, do you want me to come up? Okay. In a special house. Special Very house. Simple. One hand. Oh, this is hard. One handed. With the ladder. 
slippery ladder. This how for when we want come to here to make a rice field, we stay here. Oh, so when they oh, so when they make sense when they're harvesting yes. and and whatnot, they yeah, they come here. Yeah, we stay here. That or oh, they sleep here. That's yes, well, you can go. They have a decent to cook here. Oh wow! Yeah. How long do they How long do they stay here for? They stay here for about the four day or five day. Sometimes you know, one week depends. They make the right to refuel or not finish. Oh, that's the kitchen. Yeah, a kitchen here for the, the yeah the stove. Here. Wow! Yeah, there you go. So how many? How many? If you have some food, you can bring to here to cook. This one already to cook. Yeah. 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 So they so they're all set. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what? Well, uh, well, how many people stay here? It depends. Uh, normally, one people, uh, one family have about oh, four one or five people. Oh wow. Yeah. They just put down the thing. Yeah, and yeah. It's the blanket here. kind of thing. And yeah. in the summer, the weather a bit hot, and they sleep here and be. Yeah, I could imagine. Yeah, they get hot this roof. Yes, and you need a small blanket. Yeah, no, you don't want a thick blanket. No. These uh, business names crack me up, some of them. You got Berry House Pizza Pasta Steak Coffee. Get all of it, all in one shop. It's pretty cool. A lot of these, plate, all these restaurants that we've gone to, they, the menu's big, it's got a lot of things. Unless you go to somewhere like this, where they specifically make the There's big pots in there, brewing up. Um, I've noticed that there's, um, if you go to a western type of restaurant in the city, it's a, a lot of mix they got, um, like, it goes from like pizzas to burgers, um, spaghettis, pancakes, everything. Um, but we're finding that the, obviously the, the local food, the local restaurants are the best ones. So Google is funny, Google, you can go on Google reviews and you can find some good stuff um, but sometimes it's not updated so a lot of places are closed um, but yeah, so check it out. Crushing, yeah, crush the chestnuts, that's how they use their crushed chestnuts in there and it comes out, it grinds up down there, which is pretty cool. And then it's how they make the thing and they fry it up. And then you get that thing. Same thing because I'm not I don't know what it's called. Ban hat D, I think. Ban hat D. Uh, a lot of noise in each town. Um, I don't know what they say. I don't know why I was. I don't know why I was concentrating on. I don't know what it's saying. It's in different language. But um, some of it's to sell their stuff. Some of it's like a warning. Um, some of it, I think it's more warning to the weather. That's what God said. Um, but they mix up stuff with marketing as well. So it's like advertising, but for speaker. So we got advertising with billboards. Advertising for speaker, I think. So we're just slowly making our way back to the. So we just got a tea and coffee, coconut coffee from this cafe up there, which is three stories high, which is cool. Um, this place just came alive as we were having tea. It's just 
It's like some nightclub up there, I don't know, it's going off up there. But um Yeah this street's like bustling with lights and lanterns and thingy, but it, it's an odd time of the year because at the end of the year there's not many people in, in them, it's more locals, but it's still pretty cool. All these lights and stuff and yeah, so all, these are all restaurants stacked up on top of each other, which is really cool. Um, it's like every floor has different lighting and stuff. It's, um, it's kind of, we haven't gone in them yet, but it's kind of cool just seeing it from the outside. So we're going to have a bit of a more of a wonder. So uh, our two-day trek got cancelled because of weather, mudslide and a few other things that could cause the thing, so it's a safety concern. So we've decided to do a day trek. Um, I will chow, chow, sorry. And um, it's going to take us through the small villages. Um, and we're going to go to a family, they're going to cook us lunch. Um, it's gonna, so it's, it's, the weather is still pretty bad. So I decided to go down one of the terrains. It's a bit muddy, but it's, I mean, it's nothing that Shelby and I haven't done. We've done, certainly done muddier and hard, tougher terrain than this, but it's a part of the experience to get muddy while hiking <laughs> in a weather like this. Still low visibility. I think it is getting a bit better as we're going further down. But, um, yeah, we saw a bunch of, um, other tourists come up saying, oh, it's too muddy. And they had all Nikes on and added us and then we'll suss it out. But the terrain's not that bad. I mean, you got to prepare for this kind of stuff. They obviously didn't, but that's okay. You can't always prepare for something when you're holidaying. Got some, I think we've got water butter fellows or cows coming up ahead. Yeah, you got good hiking boots on. Kind of like passing people as a hike, but you're passing cows instead. <laughs> Whoa, which way are you going? This way? So we finally made it to the rocky terrain. These Merrill boots, they hold up all right. They, yeah, they went through the thick mud stuff, but just shook my foot and it slid off. Uh, haven't slipped once. Which is good. How are your shoes holding up, Shelby? Good. Uh, I mean, got the She's got Merrill boots on as well. Um, which is a brand we've uh, used in the past for hiking. Well, I've, used, I've had mine for a while. So. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay. <laughs> Soy hoy, I think it's called. Hello. This is it down here. Hello. Hey. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Oh, it's a horse? Horse. 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 <laughs> yeah, thank you. <laughs> Here, let's take a, let's take a photo. Yeah, we'll take a photo. <laughs> so I just stopped for now at the village. They're washing their shoes and whatnot and little water buffaloes around here.
getting ready for the season for rice in January when they start planting and plowing. Firewood for, for to burn fire. Yeah. See, this one fire roof, fire wood, everyone has this. Get keep warm in the winter, right? Yeah, because now uh, here we don't we didn't have any gas for this. We yeah. just use fire to cooking or to burn. So you use what use what you have around you. Yeah. Yeah. No gas, no electricity. Yeah. Oh, there is electricity, is it? Yeah. We have electricity. Yeah. No, no gas. No gas. So everything's cooking, water heating. Everything. All by heat, yeah. Everything's made by fire. Oh yeah, we've made it, we're here, stopping here at the homestay, <laughs> oh, no, <laughs> good job, <laughs> made it bound, <laughs> made it to the homestay, we're going to have some lunch here, so it's going to be good. Everyone's pretty hungry, I'll go. So we just had lunch, finished, polished off, had some teas and coffees. Now we're about to, we're going to head off back into the cold. How'd you, how'd you go? Good. good lunch? Good. You feel better? Yeah, really good lunch. Ready to head back out again? Yeah. Yeah, all packed and ready to go. Yeah. Get some more moody shots. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. How, how well, how good is this place build, eh? Like, Look at the roof. Awesome. I know. Alright. Our guide's got out of his puncher on. Oh, puncher. Puncher. I'll take a little video of this. Yeah. This is the heater uh, for the homestay for people having lunch here. Um, so they cook the food in the kitchen there. Forts are down there. Living space is over there, so when you hike up here, you can stay over there. Um, the eating area, then yeah, this is the heater. We don't know how hot it gets, but it's the kitchen. See ya, Baba, thank you. Now we're back out. Really good lunch. Yeah. Delicious. It was really good, yeah. It was nice. It's really nice Yeah. Yeah. Now we're yeah, full, now we have to work it off. Yes. So yeah, two. Good. Give us energy. Yeah. Keep going. Two kilometers. Put some roosters, dogs, all mixing in together. Hey, doggy. No, he's too busy. Too many, uh, too invested into this thing. Hey, doggy. Hey, buddy. Shelby's all rugged. <laughs> uh, it is, just, it is, get, it's just raining. It is pretty, it's pretty brisk. I want to get, it's not that wet. No, no, that's the key because it's, it's not like raining, it's like drizzling, weird mist, but it's cold kind of thing. Not too bad. But, no, it's not too bad. So yeah, so this is our condition hiking. It's pretty easy, we've got two, three kilometers left. Uh, welcome back to the hotel now. Uh, we, we had a taxi, but doing a bit of a traffic jam um, in Sapa village. 
traffic jam is caused by the looks of it truck so a lot of people getting out of their cars and walking There's the construction this thing oh, both ends. as you can see there's not many pathways <laughs> to walk around Another people, bikes, cars. That is, that is quite a I'm not staying here to see that tailwind. Oh, we've made it through. It's craziness. Havoc. People, cars, construction, rain, cold. Try not to get hit. Oh, see the hit shoulder. <laughs> These are the pathways. So the thing is, these are the pathways. And I'll show you in a second. And then that happens. And then this happens. And then get beeped at. And then you go, whoa, and you go, whoa, and you go, whoa, and you're chopping, whoop, 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 whoop. Yep, there's no way around it. And. <laughs> Beeping. Broken down bike. And uh, <laughs> it just goes on and on. Yeah, we just uh, entered the, the inter bus line. This is uh, the theme is uh, love, I think. <laughs> This is a six hour trip. As you can see, my shoulders barely fit through it. <laughs> Here we go. Love 10. Yeah. There we go, this is our Love 10. What do you reckon, Shelby? Cozy. <laughs> it's cozy. At least you got a blankie. Six hours in here. <laughs> it's actually pretty cool. <laughs> so, this is it empty. Get the <laughs> So we're in the love cabin, what do you reckon Shelby? That's crazy. This is our <laughs> six hours. <laughs> Put this sign, you can turn it off. <sighs> nice and cozy in here. This is going to be interesting. <laughs> <Not bad. laughs> 